His exploits are legendary. His call sign, Maverick. In the Navy, every single pilot, each have a call sign. Rooster, watch your back, Phoenix. You gotta move, Coyote. Who are your friends? Stay back. Fanboy. What do they call you? Bob. No, your call sign. Bob. Literally. When you hear their call sign, you're hearing a bit of their history. Where's he going? That's why we call him Hangman. He'll always hang you out to dry. <laughs> Call signs are kind of informal social ways that we address each other, as well as showcasing the positive message of naval aviation. We got you, Mav. Come on! Thirty-plus years of service. Combat medals. Citations. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. Yet you can't get a promotion, you won't retire. Despite your best efforts, you refuse to die. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are. Captain. Why is that? It's one of life's mysteries, sir. inevitable, Maverick. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? <laughs> here is the best there is. Who the hell are they going to get to teach us? Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. Just want to manage expectations. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. You will never forgive yourself. No turning back now. Come on! Jeez! Having any fun yet? I'm not gonna make the same mistake. You know what happens to you if you go through with this. 
I have everything I need to have you court-martialed and dishonorably discharged. The end is inevitable, Maverick. What are you gonna do? Here they come! Over there! Over there! Everywhere! Your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. His exploits are legendary. What he has to teach you may very well mean the difference between life and death. Your reputation precedes you. I have to admit I wasn't expecting an invitation back. They're called orders, Maverick. I wasn't ready to make a sequel until we had a special story worthy of a sequel and until technology evolved so we could delve deeper into the experience of a fighter pilot. The first movie became something that changed a generation. So this is exciting to come back and get in those jets again. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. The aviation sequences had to be real. So our actors went through three months of grueling training. The Navy says if you eject, you have to be able to survive in the water. So we had to go through that challenging underwater program. It's intense. You're flipped inverted and you're having to try and get out. From there, Tom designed this all-encompassing aviation training for all the actors. I started them out in a single-engine airplane to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. Oh, wow. That's amazing! Oh, my God! Next, we took them to the L-39, and they went and flew aerobatics to feel what it's like in a jet. It's the speed. Wow. From there, they'd graduate to the F-18 Super Hornet and actually launching off an aircraft carrier. That's what I'm talking about. The actors also had to learn how to run the cameras because when they're up in the jet, they have to direct themselves, essentially. Okay, I'm rolling. I had to really teach them cinematography and the lighting so that they understood what's gonna look good on camera. Sun angle's great. Everybody thought it would be impossible for actors to really be in the jets. But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. It still blows my mind that we've done this. There's nothing like it. Tom Cruise returns as Maverick. This is a competition film about family, friendship, and sacrifice. It's a love letter to aviation. We're gonna show you what it's really like to be a Top Gun pilot. You 
just can't create this kind of experience unless you shoot it live. In order for us to accomplish this, we have the greatest fighter pilots in the world working with us. We're working with a brand new camera system that allows us to put six IMAX quality cameras inside the cockpit with the actors. Verify cameras are on. Okay, cameras on. There you go. It's amazing what we see in the cockpit and what an audience is going to experience. Tom, all the actors becoming accustomed to the G-forces by all the training that they're doing. It is aggressive. You can't act that. The distortion in the face. They're pulling seven and a half eight Gs. That's 1,600 pounds of force. I am so proud of them and what they've done. And it is heavy duty. Oh, oh my God. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Putting us up in these jets, it's very serious. That's why everybody thought it would be impossible. And I think when Tom hears that something's impossible or it can't be done, that's when he gets to work. Three, two, one, turn up. Aviation film like this has never been done. And chances are it will never be done again. Fellas, everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? Phoenix is definitely a tough cookie. She doesn't underestimate anyone, and she's very loyal. You're my new backseater. He's not cut out for this mission. Don't take the bait, Bob. She's probably the leader of the group. Her leadership qualities come through quite a bit. Go no call. What do you want to do? We're close. Stay on target. Booster, where are you? Hang in there. All right, let's go. Rooster is the son of Goose, who is Maverick's wingman in the first Top Gun. I got your back. There's been some complicated history between Rooster and, and Maverick. My dad believed in you. I'm not going to make the same mistake. He's an extremely intelligent and talented pilot. Jeez, Rooster, not that fast. But he has a lot to learn. Forget the book. Trust your instincts. So Rooster learns to test his own limits. Show me what you're made of. Fight on! Who's going to be team leader? And which one of y'all has what it takes to follow me? Let's go. Let's see what you got. Hangman's coming. Hangman, he doesn't fly well with the team. Sort of lives on the edge. You put your team in danger. They couldn't keep up. He knows he's the best, and he's not here to make friends. Damn it! <laughs> what do they call you? Bob? No, your call sign. Bob. Literally. Bob is a weapons systems officer. He's a backseater. We are two seconds behind. Increase to 480 knots. He's dropping the bombs and being the second pair of eyes for the pilot. Be ready on that laser, Bob. Copy. Laser is a go. Direction. Direction. Yes. Bob, Bob. What have we here? That's a kill. Coyote, you're good. Coyote is very, very competitive. He always feels that he has to prove himself. Try to stay with me. This guy needs an ego check. It's good to see you, Coyote. Because he can command a team, his leadership presence, it makes him one of the best pilots. We're out of time. I'll increase his speed. Greetings, fanboy. Today's exercise is dog fighting. Whoever gets shot down has to do 200 push-ups. Damn! They don't call it an exercise for nothing, sir. Fanboy is a weapon system operator. He's a backseater. In the air, he's helping a pilot with everything in the cockpit. Check your laser. Fanboy. I got this. The mission he's training for seems almost impossible. Guys, we're far behind. But Maverick pushes his pilots to think outside the box. Push beyond your limits. We really got to move. Payback. You with me? Right behind you. Increase speed right now. 
Payback is very confident. Damn right. What's we'll say you put some skin in the game? And then as Maverick starts to test the class, you kind of see that fall apart. Payback, that's a kill. But he sooner realizes there couldn't be a better instructor than Maverick. I'm going to train you to take your aircraft to the breaking point. Let's turn it burn! Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Let's get to work. In this movie, Maverick is still a hot shot. He's still doing what he wants to do. Who'd you piss off this time? Another admiral. He's the ultimate aviator, and he craves adrenaline, and he craves the unknown. All right, gentlemen, fight's on. Nice. He takes risks, but he really does have everyone's best interests at heart. He is an iconic character, and he continues to test his own limits. The end is inevitable, Maverick. The kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Come on! Having any fun yet?